Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Essential Physiotherapy. Today we are going to discuss in detail about the circle of villis or the blood supply to the brain. Before going to the blood supply, it's important to take a look at the basic anatomy of the brain. Now, this is the lateral view of your cerebral cortex. We have four main lobes, the frontal lobe which is the emotional control center and home to personality and decision making. Second, the parietal lobe which interpret the sensory informations. Third, the occipital lobe which process the visual information. Finally, the temporal lobe which comprehends the speech. The cerebral hemisphere originates from the tail encephalon which is the term of embryology. We have the cerebellum which is part of the metencephalon. The pons is also the part of the metencephalon. The tail encephalon and the metencephalon are the terms of embryology. Here we have the brain stem which consists of three parts midbrain, pons and the medulla oblongata. Next we have a look on the sagittal view. This is your cerebral cortex or the tail encephalon. Next, you have the cerebellum or the metencephalon together with the pons. In the center of the cerebral cortex, you have the thalamus. Below the thalamus, you have the hypothalamus. Hypo means below, so below the thalamus means the hypothalamus. Below the hypothalamus, we have the pituitary gland, which is the main endocrine gland in the human body. And here is your brain stem, consists of three parts, midbrain, pons and the medulla oblongata as I explained earlier. Now, let's have a look on the inferior view. In this view, you can see the frontal lobes here and the temporal lobes on the sides. In this view, you can see the first and second cranial nerves. Here is the olfactory nerve, the first cranial nerve which is responsible for your smell. It's important to have a look on your optic nerve here which is the second cranial nerve as the name suggests which is responsible for your vision. Once again we can see the brain stem in the inferior view. This is your midbrain. This is your pons. And finally, this is your medulla oblongata. Now, we are entering to the core of this video. The blood supply to the brain or the circle of villis. So, in the brain stem, we have the two vertebral arteries which comes from the subclavian artery. The two vertebral artery joins to form the basilar artery. The basilar artery continue to grow up to the brain before bifurcation and form a circle which is known as your circle of villis. The circle of villis gives few branches which is the anterior cerebral artery here is your anterior cerebral artery then the middle cerebral artery here is the middle cerebral artery and the posterior cerebral artery
it's important to discuss about two communicating arteries the posterior communicating artery and the anterior communicating artery the posterior communicating artery is the communication between the middle and the posterior cerebral arteries and the anterior communicating artery is the connection between the anterior cerebral arteries and finally here we have the internal carotid arteries now let's make it simple this is your circle of willis these are the two vertebral arteries the two arteries join to form the basilar artery and the basilar artery grows up and forms a circle that's your circle of willis the circle of willis gives few branches that's the anterior cerebral posterior cerebral and the middle cerebral arteries the connection between the two anterior cerebral arteries is the anterior communicating artery and the connection between the middle cerebral artery and the posterior cerebral artery is the posterior communicating artery thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel thank you